In tonight's show, we ask, what's going on at St. James's Park? Is Tino finally on his way? Doug Lee says he can go. And the latest in rugby's biting scandal. And today's Derby Day, we go to Pride Park to look behind the scenes at my favourite club. All that in a moment, but first, a fan's eye view on the continuing saga at Newcastle. Tino, the Toon Army favourite. Flamboyant, unpredictable. The Colombian hitman who put three past Barcelona in the Champions League. But it now looks certain that he will be returning to Italy. And the fans aren't happy. Sport Live spoke earlier today to a couple of St James's Park season ticket holders. With the likely departure of Bastino Espria for his old club Parma, they believe it's time for a few drastic measures. A year ago we had Ginola, Gillespie, uh, Beardsley, uh, Shearer, Ferdinand, and there's not many left now. Shearer's been injured for the best part of the year. Um, I reckon we'll start with Shearer myself, get him back fit, um, sell him maybe 20 million for the World Cup, and buy a whole new tight course for next season, right this season off, and uh, see what happens next year. But it's the same as Spear's gone. He's a uh, fantastic player. Always has been. I always think he's a special player. Um, just wish he was still in a black and white shirt. But it sounds as if he's definitely going. Which is it's a sad loss. Sad day. Alan Shearer's injury, exit from Europe, and the purchase of hand-me-down strikers such as Ian Rush. The current side are a pale imitation of the one assembled under Keegan. The sale of a Spear, their only real attacking option, could bring further problems. Uh, we'll be forced to play Shearer far too early and he'll come back and he'll get injured regularly uh, because he's been played too soon and uh, he'll have a sort of career downward spiral like uh, Brian Robson at Manchester United where he's constantly injured for years and years and never gets back to his full potential. The Magpies haven't won in their last eight Premiership games and are sliding towards the relegation zone. A return to Kev's flamboyant attacking ways is seen as the antidote. There was a period last week against Liverpool, just after the, the half-time break, when uh, Kaspaya and uh, Thomason were brought on, where for 10 minutes we were playing Keegan Champagne football, and uh, that was very good to see, but obviously we weren't able to sustain that and ended up losing the game, um, which was a bit disappointing. So yes, obviously we'd love to see a return to the, the, the glory days of Keegan. Uh, it's a shame they're over. I mean, Dalglish hasn't exactly set the club on fire. Keegan himself said today that if a spree is going, the club need a big signing. The fans agree. To, to be in like a big club, you have to should be and, and deserve to be. Uh, you've got to buy a world class player as a replacement. So you've got to look forward to Europe, possibly some of the German players, um, and even the South American, yeah, possibly one of the, some of the young Brazilian strikers. Um, exactly who I don't know, but it's got to be a big name, and I, I know I'm not happy, and I'm sure the rest of the two army won't be happy either. Confusion reigns over at St James's Park. Last night, assistant manager Terry McDermott said that the Espria sale for between five and seven million pounds was rubbish. But then Tino himself said that his return to Parma makes him very happy. Kenny Dalglish, take note. The Toon Army's marching on an empty stomach. It's a shame. Oh, it's not very terrible. Not, not as good as it was. Not enjoying it at all. The days of Keegan are a long gun, unfortunately. Um, we'll show it back. Yeah, not. And Newcastle have confirmed that a deal between the club and Parma is underway for the sale of the Colombian striker. More from our friends in the North, same time tomorrow. The poor old Toonami have got more than a few problems at the moment. Now it's time to check out the rest of today's sports news headlines.